Hey, I'm Lester. And I'm Charlie. I've declared bankruptcy twice, and each time I felt left out in the cold. But as a corporate person, the worst I'm facing is a restructuring or a hostile takeover by GE. So we've been noticing that a lot of people are becoming corporations. Uh, real corporations. I, uh, ever since the Supreme Court uh, stood behind the concept of, of corporate personhood in the Citizens United case. Uh, right. It's catching on like flapjacks. I mean, everyone's doing it. I have a terrible fear of dying. Walt Disney, he's a ice cube. But Mickey Mouse, that, that corporate rat will live forever. Uh, so this all started last January when the Supreme Court decided that corporations have the same right to free speech as people. Right, and that, that free speech includes political contributions. And that's why the Republicans were able to get uh, one and a quarter Brazilian dollars for the midterms. You know, and we just found that statistic astounding. So we went to D.C. to talk to one of those uh, new Republican congressmen. Let me share with you boys a little something that I've learned. It's not a matter of whether corporations have rights. It's a question whether non-corporations have rights. Just who do you think the founding fathers were? Let's look back at the we and the we the people. Well, they weren't black people. They weren't red people. They weren't people. They were lily white landowners, and in their day, landowners were corporations. So when they wrote that tiny little word, we, they knew what they meant. Everybody knew what they meant. And let me tell you, they weren't referring to some rainbow coalition riding naked on a Mardi Gras float. You either are a corporation or you're owned by one. So let me just ask you, what should you rather be? So there you have it, people. Uh, so between now and the We the Corporations rally in D.C., we're going to be putting on our thinking caps and doing a little bit of investigating. We are? Yeah. Um, so stay tuned, and maybe you can find out how you can have the same voice in America as a non-human entity.